Good afternoon. My name is Coltrane Lionheart. I am from the Kingdom of the Rising Winds, the Duchy of Stormbridge, and today we're going to go over a couple of drills to do with your pail. So I've actually built a new pail here, and sorry for the audio of anything sounds a little. Um, sorry for the audio of anything sounds a little weird. Um, I'm away from the microphone. I mean, my microphones are on my Bluetooth headphones. All this, I got a different set of whatever. So one. Um, your pale stick. A pale stick is a sword you're not going to be fighting with. It doesn't have to be legal or anything. This one is super old. It's super beat up. Really, it's just a stick for me to practice with and hit things with. Right? If it gets broken, whatever, I ain't going to be broken up about it. Um, but it's my main pale stick. Um, I already had a video earlier about the new pale I got. And nothing but a couple of tires, you get a couple of ropes, whatever you need, you hang it up, and gives you a good amount of space for you to hit something. Um, over here, I got just the ball. Um, I don't know if that's in camera, but that one is for when you need to be a little more precise, or you're going to switch over to different weapons. All right, so drills I like to do on it. We're just going to go over the basics for Amcar 101 today. Um, I'm not going to go over how to throw every single shot that is for you and your warlord to discuss, but let's just go over a couple of things. One, I like to go ahead and get a couple crosses in, so I always will get in my stance, and really want to make sure I'm going over the fundamentals of how I'm throwing, so get my stance, bend my feet, and throw. So I'm not going to sit here and try to throw super far, I mean, super hard. I'm not going to throw um, super sloppy. It's all about trying to get the form down and throwing and getting myself back in my return stance. Always use my whole body, not just my arm, just try to throw it across. Throw it. All right. So normally I will warm up doing about um, 25 of those. And then I would throw for the outside. All right. So about 25 of those. And I'll come back from left to right. I'll change levels. If I want to hit the hip or leg. I'm going to throw about 25 of those. I'll come back around on the other side. And get low. It's one reason why you always want to have your pill not just torso. But uh, all the way down to um, below the knees too just in case. So... And my stance, turning, throwing. I said about 25 of those. So, recap real quick. Got, got myself cross, around that way, getting lower, low. So, outside, out, I mean, inside, inside, outside, outside from my body. Always want to match what you're doing on the other side too. So, I'm going to do it with my left. My left is a lot weaker. That's why we always need to practice, right? So you do 25 of that. Same thing at the bottom, 25 that way. And I'm gonna switch it over to outside. So I don't wanna sit here and try to throw it lightly because I wanna throw it with authority and get a good pop. So left hand, right hand. From there, this is why you also wanna pale with uh, shoulders to it. Because I am going to throw it down and across to the shoulder, right? So, I'm going to do 25 of those. Get down your stance. And some people like to raise up when they throw it. Uh, everybody has a preference. Like I said, talk to your warlord. I'm sure I'm, I'm even doing some of this stuff wrong and not in the perfect type of technique. This is just for new people getting into it and easy things that you can do. So, I'll throw 25 this way. And then 25 for the other shoulder, right? So we want to make sure that we are getting the shoulder. We want to be more precise about this because I don't want to throw the shot and come down on someone's head. I want to make sure I'm getting that shoulder. So we do 25 left, 25 right. And then, of course, switch. We will do 25 and 25. Ooh. Woo. Yeah, left hand needs work. That's why we got a pill, right? All right, so shoulder, shoulder, down, down. 
And then from there, we're also going to work on our wraps. So remember, wrapping goes around the opponent. Um, it's also a cool thing with pails. You can put arms on it. You can put heads on it. My last pail had arms out to the side, and it also had a helmet on it. Um, so, same thing with wraps. Down your stance. Want the 25 on those. 25 low. Oops. Like I said, tail sort don't matter. Literally a point of it. So, on the outside, and we want those stuff high and low. That's it. Switch hands. So, problem I have with this pail is it's a little too far over to the left. So I'm probably going to scoot it over to the right because I'm hitting some of that too. So, high, low on your wraps. Right? And then from there, now we got ourselves warmed up. 25, 25, 25, 25. Now, we're going to get ourselves warmed up for the rest of our body. We want to make sure that we are doing our footwork or marching with it. And I'm going to throw and move. Right? I'm going to throw and move. Cool thing about when you have tires like this is you can aim for each quadrant that you want. Um... Really get yourself locked in on the location that you want to hit. So, but mainly, now I don't want to just stay in a spot. I want to keep myself moving, right? So, same cross going over. I want to keep myself moving now, right? Keep yourself fluid. Get yourself moving, right? And we're going to throw 25 of those, right? Same thing when it comes to the shoulder. We're going to make sure that we're not going straight at lines at people. We want to make sure we're getting those good angles. We're getting off line. And throw. Right? And all that. So we're going to do 25 for each shoulder. Back and forth. Like I said, switch hands for all these two. So we want to make sure that we are moving. Um... If you have a pail that you can hang up in the tree, you can get yourself completely around that pail. That will be even better. So, I'm going to do a couple of those. So, I prefer to do 25 of each. That seems like a little too much for you. Knock it down to 5. Knock it down to 10. Uh, we all start somewhere. That's fine. So, those are the main shots I do. And then from there, I like to work on uh, my combinations. So, I want to go high, low, stuff like that, right? So, Amp Guard 201 will probably go into more combinations and stuff that you could throw. So, like shoulder low or outside, inside. So, outside high, inside low. So, stuff like that. Really getting ourselves moving. Don't forget about your offhand. Make sure you got your offhand out there. People's philosophies on offhands may change. Everybody is different. As I said before, talk to your local warlord. They are here for a reason. They have gotten to that position for a reason. Don't rely on people like me who are not at that high. I'm at, what, six warriors, if that. So, this is how we train to get better. Um, where was I at? Okay, so yeah. So then we work on combinations. From there, you kind of flow freestyle. You don't have to go fast on this, right? Like, hey, can I really... Sorry. I foster dogs also. Got a bunch out here too. So, you really want to work on flowing. Throw some shots that you haven't thrown before, right? Throw in a high cross, right? You see if you can throw a high cross shoulder. I don't know. So, like, I don't know. So, from there... That working, that muscle memory, that's going to help you out for everything. Um, oh, the other part from here, you also want to work on all of your stuff, right? It's not just... So the great thing about Amp Guard is all the different weapons, the weapon combinations, right? Because I may be playing wizard, I can only use a short sword with the list I got. That'd be great, right? Working on that. But a lot of times I'll probably have a medium shield sword... Always bring out all the combinations. So you can work on one combination of weapons a day if you want. You can switch it up. Bring everything, right? 
I prefer to mainly work on single short because almost, well, every class can use a single short. Um, I prefer to bring my medium board pretty much every time because uh, most classes can use a medium board. Um, I've been doing a whole lot of Paladin. I have a tower shield. More than likely, I'm going to start working with that a lot more too. So, either way, back to the point. I'm going to grab my shield. I want to make sure I can still throw these shots, right? Same thing. So, I pref like I said, I prefer to go in 25s. You don't have to go in 25s. But yeah, just make sure that you're down in your stances. Make sure that you're working your shield also. Yes, pills don't hit back, but we still want to work on our shield work with it. Right? So, uh, when it comes to shield work, uh, I normally will work it um, sort foot forward first, right? And then don't forget to switch it shield side foot out there too, right? So, all that. Um, usually when it comes to sort and board, I will just kind of freestyle it with it. Um, there's a lot of stuff you could work on with that. A lot of stuff is similar um, as we've done before. Mainly, I recommend working on your your safe shots, your safe high crosses, your J hooks, um, your dark sides, all that kind of stuff like that too. So, work on that stuff. Um, other thing, I'm not trying to go into everything about a pill today. Um, all your other weapons, like I said a moment ago, bring all your other weapons with you. If you'd like to use a pole. A pail is still a very useful thing. Um, this, I'll be swinging a red. It's not the biggest pole in the world. It's about a little bit taller than me. I'm 5'10". Um, I mainly use it for red that bell. Um, but if I'm working pole, I want to make sure I'm actually practicing that. Right? That's also why I like to use this little ball here to make sure I'm getting my accuracy down with my weapon, right? This is yours. This is a great thing about this game is how much we customize our own weapons, right? And we're actually got to, we actually need to train with it, right? So, I need to make sure I'm actually training with it. So the same thing like I was doing with the single short, I can do with pole. Sorry, looking around for dog stuff too. I can do with pole, right? Just make sure you're actually working on all of your shots. Um, especially like in a situation for amp guard, this is crush and breaking, right? We can crush and break by stabs, right? As long as I got two hands on it, I can still crush and break with stabs. And that's a huge thing that we working on that accuracy and working on that speedness, right? Of just stabbing. A lot of times when it comes to poles, it's about just the amount of stabbing you're doing out there in general, right? So, working on all that is important. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much everything I got for working with a pole. Um, other philosophies are um, training the equipment that you'll be wearing, right? Today, ton of mosquitoes. I got got to cover myself up, but Depending on a day, I will train with my whole gambit since that pants and jacket. I will train with my armor on. I will train with my helmet on. I will. So it depends, right? If you actually want to get better using that equipment, you need to be used to it. So you need to actually use it more, right? So pails are very useful. I had a whole video of the one I built the other day. I mean, this one I built the other day. Like I said, it's super simple. Um, and that's pretty much everything I got for you today. So as always, swords up, lay on.